Sega. Binary Domain is a squad-based shooter. You play Dan Marshall, part of the Rust crew, an internationally sanctioned military squad sent to infiltrate the isolationist Tokyo of 2080. Somewhere in the city, someone is creating illegal androids called Hollow Children. As the line between man and machine has blurred, these robots not only look human and act human, they even think they are human. But their emotional instability can turn lethal in a fraction of a second. The city of today is crumbling against the rising sea levels and high crime. It is run down, derelict and poor. While high above, a new upper city exists, clean, affluent and safe. The Rust crew must make their journey through these contrasting environments in search of their foes. The consequence system is the unique core of binary domain and central to the experience. Cover me! I do not agree! Later on! This system of artificial intelligence tracks and responds to everything you do, from combat performance to squad conversations in and out of battle. Your aim is fantastique, monsieur. Whoa, where did that come from? It gives you constant feedback on squad attitude. That's right according to plan! Try pulling some weight around here. And the squad treat you based on how you have treated them. They don't just do whatever you ask them. Whip yourself into shape, Dan. Is that the best you can do? Yeah! Wow, so much for that reputation of yours. At the start of most missions, you select who you take with you. You make these decisions based on how their fighting style works with yours and how much they trust you. The level of squad trust is central to the way each mission plays out. Cover me! I'm on it! Gotcha, bro! Low trust results from putting the squad in situations where they get injured, making inappropriate comments, or issuing bad commands. High trust is built by working with their fighting style and using good tactics. Target eliminated. Good job. They'll offer strategies and suggestions, as well as providing more help. Dan, focus your fire there. Blow his head off. Fire! Not gonna happen! Negative! In this low trust situation, Dan's command is ignored. Good job! Why are you giving me this sweet talk? It's creepy. Faye recognizes Dan's comment makes no sense. She says so. While trust is low, your team won't listen, and worse, won't help. Cover me! The answer is no! Negative! Dan asks for cover. They refuse to give it. They fight uncoordinated on their own. Now, watch the same situation with high trust in the group. Leave that sniper back there to me. This time, Faye offers to take out the sniper, which she easily does. Cover me! Okay! I will do so! Faye and Kane provide cover, allowing Dan to take out the enemies without getting hit. The consequence system doesn't just impact your squad's tactics in battle. It changes the path you take through the story. I could order you to respond. Different team members will see different things in the environments and use different tactics to take down the enemies. They require you to adapt to them as much as they respond to you. The way you work together triggers different things in the campaign, so your experience will change depending on who you take with you, how you work with them, and how you perform. Every action, every choice, every word affects everything. This is the consequence system.